What's up? It's Scott. Welcome to a special DM cast. Yes, there's no Chris, there's no Brett. <laughs> You'll have to get your daily dose next week, Tuesday, for the regular DM cast. But we're in a special edition here. I am with the creators of the latest, hottest image book called Five Ghosts. We have Frank and Chris. They uh, came up and they're here doing a signing with us. So if you're watching this, you probably missed it, but we're going to have some on hand for you. I can't hear you over the crowds. <laughs> So uh, tell us a little bit about the book. Okay, well, uh, Five Ghosts is the story of a treasure hunter named Fabian Gray, who comes under the possession of five ghosts that take the form of literary characters. The characters are the archer, Robin Hood, the detective, Sherlock Holmes, the wizard, Merlin, the samurai, Musashi Miyamoto, and the vampire, Dracula. Uh, they're actually just more the archetypes of the characters, so that's why we don't actually call them by name, which is a question we've been getting a lot. But uh, they are inspired by the literary characters, and uh, Fabian can draw on their powers and, again, use them to get out of all the supernatural and thieving hijinks he falls into. But we say our book wears the literary on its sleeve rather than relying on it, like versus something like League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, where... You can just go through with all these crazy annotations and find like quotes, and in ours has a lot of that too. But again, it's much more we want it to inform our story and let us be creative with it rather than restricting our story. So, but well, we try to make it as clear as possible who they are. Yeah. <laughs> through the drawing, you know. The the samurai, I think a lot of people aren't super familiar with, right. but uh. It's like Samurai Jack. <laughs> the guy from uh, Super Friends. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't spin around me too. Uh, uh, Apache Chief, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This number one just came out this week, and it's already sold out at the publisher level. If you are near a comic shop, pick up an issue number one. Run. See if they have it. Um, <laughs> Double Midnight is sold out of the regular cover, but we do have the Phantom variants available. Um, By one lovely Australian gentleman named Ben Templesmith. And <laughs> I'm, I don't ben, know like who of my show. Is. <laughs> ben is going to be doing all the Phantom variants. Yeah, for uh, yes, yeah. for Phantom. the first first Phantom. five. And, uh, uh, we've talked about maybe getting somebody else for each arc. Okay. You know, but that's very speculative at this point. <laughs> so, you know, I don't even know if I should have said that. Chris from the future just called Chris from the present. Oh man, he just made a face at the camera. That's adorable. Like, Ooh. Breaking the fourth wall. <laughs> what? It's an interview, man. <laughs> <laughs> Are we gonna have a fight? The first fight on camera? <laughs> Awkward, double, yeah, double Midnight exclusive. <laughs> five Ghost Creators Brawl. Uh -huh. Well, it was a five issue. So uh, was, uh, yeah. oh, you're going to have to deal with one. Yeah. Um, and all the copies at Double Midnight are now covered in blood. <laughs> and it's a mini series right now. We, we do want to move forward, but uh, we actually had a really interesting path to getting the book out. Uh, we originally did a Kickstarter just about a year ago. We had five pages we were kicking around, and uh, we put up a Kickstarter, and a lot of people really got behind it, which was kind of good for us. It put wind in our sails and pushed us forward. We debuted exactly the issue that we uh, have here at New York Comic Con this year, so New York Comic Con 2012, and quickly sold out of our printing. And we were excited, but a little terrified because we were self-publishing. We are like, well, now we need to keep going. And uh, two weeks after the show, uh, Eric Stevenson actually sent me an email from Image and said they want to do the book, and here we are now. Again, took clearly their publishing schedule was a little full, so uh, it just came out in March. So we're really just like excited to get issue two out because we've been looking at this forever, <laughs> and uh, I, we think that if people dug this issue, they'll really enjoy issue two. Yeah. And like we said, it sold out at the publisher level, but there you are doing second printing. Second printing, yes. yeah. We uh, a press release went out on Wednesday. We have a really really cool cover that our colorist Shane Vidari did. Uh, that will be gracing our second printing, which will be in stores the same day as issue two, which is April 17th. <laughs> Am I in? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so issue, the second printing will be out in April, time with April same, 17th. Uh, same day as the second issue. We'll have Chris's cover for number two, which is awesome. We'll have Ben Tebblesmith's cover, the Phantom variant, number two, and we'll have our second printing of number one, April 17th. You had mentioned the Ben Templesmiths doing the Phantom variant. How, how was, uh, have people been receiving the Phantom variants? Uh, well, clearly he did a beautiful job. Yeah, and, uh, very nice. We're really flattered to have him on board. Nicest guy. and uh, They've been really excited. and it, It's cool because it gives us an opportunity to, again, explore a style that's very different visually from Chris's and also not have to worry about 
again, having just, like, characters on the cover, we get to really expand with our covers and take a chance. And, like, the one for number two just has one of our, like, evil spider tribesmen on it, which, again, if it was our main cover, I'd be worried, like, oh, people might not know what that is. But, again, the chance to have a variant with an awesome, uh, a, uh, awesome artist we like is really, again, a nice I think he, Yeah, I think it brings a lot of people that, I've, that we may not have gotten on our own. Yeah. You know? So it's nice to... I know. Synergize. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> he went, and he was with us in New York at a uh, New York signing, and yeah, sweetest dude, dude, and a yeah. lot of people came out. And we appreciate it, Ben, wherever you are watching this. <laughs> and it's Up nice in to heaven. <laughs> oh, I mean, uh, whoa, a little preemptive. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs>